Okay, so here's the wiring harness setup. So this thing right here, you can buy this on Amazon.com for literally like 10, 15 bucks. Uh, this one's an H1, um, or it's an H11 adapter. So if you get the H11 adapter, that'll work perfectly fine for any Focus ST 2012 and up. Well, I don't know about the 2014s. I don't know how that's set up. But um, the bulbs in these, um, these are obviously not the factory um, projectors. Um, I switched them out with these. Uh, these were like 250 bucks on eBay. And uh, they're not too bad. But um, anyways, about the wire, wiring harness. So um, essentially this um, will connect to the passenger side over here. And it'll go to the driver's side. Um, so this is the driver's side right here uh, connection and it'll connect to your battery the positive side will go to your battery and to a ground so I have my ground right here um, I also have for this car specifically because I get an error or a low beam fault uh, on the car when you do this so um, I have the resistors here to cancel this out and uh, be careful with these these actually get really hot so um, don't touch them when your car's on or the lights are on. So this um, essentially connects to the, the what you call it here, the um, the factory, um, the factory. Uh, I think it's a 9006 um, plug. So I have the two adapters going here. So you can buy this at the retrofit. Um, it's just a 9006 um, split adapter. So it'll go to the wiring harness and the uh, resistor here. And that's basically all. Um, there's a resistor on the other side too. It's the same setup over there. Um, except there's no splitter because uh, this doesn't have to connect to the, um, to the wiring harness because it's just going straight to the ballast. Um, but yeah, let's head over there. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you have your ballast mounted here to the uh, to the body here, and then the uh, resistor here as well. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'll do a little demonstration of this thing turning on. Okay, so I just turned it on. Um, these are the quote-unquote daytime running lights, but uh, they don't actually turn on during the day. You have to turn on your parking lights to have them turned on. I'll show you the, uh, the uh, non warning light too. Let's turn this back on. It says the hood's open, and that should be it. And we're good. So uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. Specifically, I can give you a diagram of how this works, but uh, I think a diagram might actually help you out a bit more. But uh, yeah, let me know. So here's another snippet of what it likes with my, or what it looks like with my lights adjusted the proper way. essentially see everything that you used to be able to see with the OEM lights and more. Uh, I'll probably switch back to the OEMs for the second part of this video just to uh, give it a little comparison. But yeah, I mean, you can see a lot with these lights. Uh, they're 6,000 6, K bulbs uh, from Xenon Supply. They do a great job of visibility. They're extremely bright compared to OEM. And yeah, I like them. Uh, as for the headlights, 
they're all right. The projectors are okay. I wouldn't give them, I wouldn't give them, you know, like a ridiculous praise. The quality of them is typical of what you would expect things from, things from uh, eBay to be. But, I mean, I do like that I'm not blinding people that it's definitely, you, you select, uh, or these were definitely made for uh, left-handed drive, and you can see that it's not blinding the people in the left lane. Um, it gets, there's a cutoff, and it's right where, you know, if you were coming on and somebody had halogen or reflectors in their in their lights, you would you would just be blinded by them. So, I think this is a good alternative for a Focus uh, 2012 and above. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure about the uh, the newest ones if they have H11 bulbs or not. But yep. Yeah. These are really good. The visibility is great, and like I said, I'll give you a split screen, or uh, I'll add that onto the second video portion of it, or just split screen them. I would definitely recommend these, uh, mainly because they're just, I don't know, they just make the car look so much better. They, they make the car look like, if you're passing by it, you essentially think it's it's an Audi or, you know, some kind of, not, not, not a Focus. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think they're really nice, so. Um, definitely recommend them.